So we are reaching the end of our server. Today we'll showcase the bolds that uh, our few members have done and they'll embark on the quest for the end of the world. We are standing in my main storage room. Massive bunch of redstone. Resorting. I'll have to go and look up again where we got this one from. It's not my own design, but it works well enough. A bit slow, but convenient. So we've devised a quest for our members to find the off switch for the world. Each of them will receive a book with a quick story that will take them through a few points of interest up into finally finding the switch that will end the server before we restart in 116.2. So we discovered a mansion a while back that's uh, in relatively good condition. We conquered it, cleaned it out and we'll start our quest there. But I will take you through the various parts of it quickly. Hopefully approximately as our members will experience it as they follow the clues and uh, travel. <laughs> the clues though are aimed at 10 year olds because um, that is uh, our youngest member so nothing too complicated will make it easy. So let's just quickly have a look. Your quest starts at the mansion. It is up to you to discover why it is deserted, what happened to those who built it, and to follow them out of this world if possible. The quest will cover vast distances. Come prepared. Beds, wings, crafting tables, food. Everything explorers need. You will need to navigate using codes. Find the map room with a block in the map that should not be there. It will contain your next clue. Have fun. The portal to the mansion is located. Uh, there's the coords in our nether. For those without the minimap, use the data pack trigger command trigger ch toggle in your chat window to display your coords. Good luck. So we will deliver a copy of this book to everyone so that they can do the end of the world quest. But let us then go there and have a look at what they'll see. The portal in the storage room is specifically located to show off a little bit of the redstone contraption that does our sorting for us. It is probably the most convenient thing to just finish with the build and then pop back into your storage room and just be able to jump your chests. Now the mansion is to the north so let's align and go there. Now we do allow the minimap it is quite convenient uh, to be able to see the mobs around you mostly and to have waypoints waypoints is a thing. There we go. And I didn't check whether it's daytime or nighttime out there. But um, I'm sure we'll be fine. The mansion isn't properly lit so we may still end up picking up some mobs as we go along. Now for 116.2 we'll probably not immediately go to the nether ceiling to have a bit more fun in uh, the new nether than we have been having. There we go. It is morning. Good timing. Let's see where the entrance of this thing is. I always struggle to find it. Ah. 
Nope, looks like we're on the wrong side. We'll probably edit this bit out. It's still a magnificent structure. Ooh, lava lake. Let's not fall into that. Hmm. Am I going to have to walk around the whole thing? We could have gotten them via the roof. We made an access hole there when we raided the mansion. Now fire tick is off, which is why this one hasn't been to the ground. Oh, there's some mobs around. Zombie zombie. Where is the front door? Am I going to walk around this twice? Ah, there it is. Now I've put these skull banners everywhere where the quest has to run so that our kids can find it easily. Now there's three map rooms on the top floor. And in one of them we have... Hmm, there are some mobs around. Bedroom. There's a map room. This one, the map is normal and unmolested, but this is not the one they are looking for. Hi, Zombo. Let's just make sure we don't get disturbed. Ooh, Enderman. Creepers are really the only thing that worries me. This map's also undisturbed. Some holes from when we first conquered the, the room. And this map has something interesting going on. That block shouldn't be there. Mm. I have now lost that piece of wall, which is irritating. Probably fell through the floor. I'll go look in the bottom floor now. <coughs> but there is the book with the next gen. Chapter. Ooh, I haven't reset it. Let's bring it back to the beginning. If you are reading this diary, then at least some of you have survived the zombie attack. They have been camped outside for the last three months. The walls of the mansion no longer hold them back. Our servants are affected as well. Yesterday we had to restrain our butler, who just started attacking the mansion scientists. This world is not safe anymore. The research team left three days ago hoping to find the cure for the zombie plague. They are heading into the ice where we've heard rumors of a tribe that knows a remedy. Their journey is far, but search south of the village at X-6637-Z2691 minus for their research station. Follow them, for they are your only hope of escaping before the zombie plague overwhelms this world. Right, now I've got to go fetch that piece of wool that fell into the bottom story. You creeper. Let's just deal with that guy first. There we go. We can use that. Let's fly up. Oh. Quick snack first. Okay, it wasn't 
in this map room. Wow, how is this one? There we go. Perfect. Right, so now I want to go to that location. Let's get out of the mansion. There's our staircase. And we can fly out. I'm going to go via the portal. that we are heading to is significantly far south. Uh, let's find it quickly. So it's quite a distance away. But we do have... So they can fly there if they want. Or they can use the nearest portal, which is what I would suggest which is coming in via the Tayega portal and then flying east from there ah, uh, west from there to get to the location which is around that area so let's go to the Tayega portal which is in our old nether before we actually changed our system to running in the ceiling that portal is located in the nether below in our old nether tunnels now this server has been running for about a year and we started out slightly modded and then uh, went for vanilla when 114 uh, was popular and from 115 onwards we've been using some of vanilla tweaks as data packs to make our life a little bit easier it's been most convenient. Obviously, we've learned a lot since we've built these things. Now we'll take a boat to the Tayega portal. Where's that Zombles? And probably outside. Oh, there's a hole there that shouldn't be there. I think somebody broke something. Oh, that's fine. Sixteen two will spend a lot more time in the nether proper instead of in the ceiling. And at this point we want to go west. So let's aim ourselves west, past the gravel mountains. snowy villages hmm. so to the south of this village they fly out from the bell which is the center of the village they should see a igloo and once again it's marked and down here in the classic zombie curing station they will find
want the next few. Mm, noisy. Cleric. Ah, probably because of the green stand. They do need some gunfighter. Let's leave them some gunfighter, seeing that we got some from the creeper earlier on. Right, so there's our book. Mm. We have it. Ooh, spelling error. Oops. Oh, never mind. Our witch has found a cure. Unfortunately, we only have enough nether wart to brew a few potions. The zombies are getting closer. We can hear them through the walls. Now, this happens to be in a mine. So, around us, there are a lot of zombies. The villagers speak of a temple where they got nether wart in the old days before the area got infected by the zombies. The temple is rumored to be at X minus 4486. That should be a Z. Mm, I may need to rewrite this book. Let's see, can I rewrite it or did I close it? No, I have closed it. Oh. Uh, they'll just have to cope. We'll give them some hints. But no living villager has ever been there. It's but a memory of the time before the zombies. Our party is diminished to only five people, of which myself and three warriors are left. I fear time is short before the world is lost to the undead. They are coming through the walls. Run, save yourselves. Right, so after that dark moment, we can travel to the next set of coordinates. As you can see the amount of mobs on my minimap, this area is quite busy, but it's the mine. That's around us. Definitely a few spider spawners. Let's dress that up. Put up the carpet back. Perfect. And then again our skeleton. So if we go to the next set of coordinates, it should be due east from where we are at at the temple. So let's aim east. Hello temple. Ow. That hit. And again we have our banner. Now for this they're going to have to dig down. Now, hopefully they're not silly enough to dig down in the middle. And there's the next book. Now this temple did blow up. I got surprised by a creeper while I was busy writing the book. We lost our witch and one of our warriors in the explosion. She tried to use her magic sight to find the temple treasure chamber. But the ancients were cunning and she set off a trap exploding the entire treasure room. The only surviving artifact points to a portal to a dark realm. I vaguely remember reading about the terrible dimension where lava flows and floating monsters launch exploding fire at you. Where the buried touch of the creatures there can suck the life energy out of you. We have no choice but to go on in search of the wart we need. Take care of those who follow because your doom awaits. And there's the coordinates of our next step. Mm, let me just page at the beginning. Perfect. And fly out. Have a snack first. See that I've already done a bit of flying damage. Ow. That always hurts. But that's fine. Luckily enough, we are well armored. Right. So from here. The next coordinate is to the southeast, which is a shattered portal. Not that far. So the whole theory is, is that they are following in the footsteps of a party that's trying to escape the zombie apocalypse. 
and due to the bad quality of people's lighting up on the server the zombie apocalypse was really real most places are quite dangerous at night now this portal has been tested to connect to a specific location in the Netherlands. We'll jump through there directly because I want them to repair the portal. They've added a few things to make it slightly easier than the standard. They have some flint, they've got enough iron nuggets to make a flint and steel. I've even given them a nice pickaxe to take out some obsidian to build, rebuild the portal. Right, let's read talk. We lack the tools to make the portal work. The zombies are upon us. We will give them a good fight, but I fear this is the end of the road. So at this point, the original party could not proceed, but our guys will obviously be able to go further. So let's uh, jump to the nether location linked to this. All right, back at our nether hub now. The location that we are on our way to it's not that far in the nether and it does link up directly with that portal should they recreate it we'll take the secret back road in because we are in no mood to go the long way around This is a once-off use building specifically constructed for this situation. Our kids should be able to find what's probably the most difficult uh, trick in this one, which is not very difficult at all. So they'll be spawning into this portal, which brings them into this room. Got some nice wither skeleton skulls, lava flows, the new green lamps, I love these, the chains. And basically some of the new nether blocks, the nether bricks. Absolutely stunning. Now if they want to come outside they can, they can see some of the basalt. That was used for the outside here and we've glassed it off because it ghasts nuisances as they are so here we have what looks like an ordinary wall but if you do go in here you'll find yourself in a black infinity room but I love how the bookcase pops out of the sheer blackness so now we are writing from the perspective of the bad guys reporting back. The last enemy ship has been neutralized, sire. They did not see our withers coming. We sunk them before they could return fire. The wreck lies at X 2883Z3953. Nothing can stop our undead hordes now. There we go. So this should be enough information to allow our guys to go to that location which obviously is the next step in the quest now they'll probably pop back out where they came in to get out of these rooms is always a slight challenge but if you know the secret not that hard and then i may or may not tell them about the secret passage back out we will take it because we are really not in the mood to traverse the entire world to get to that sunken ship location. The nearest portal access to our destination is at one of our players' houses. And he has constructed a boat road on the ceiling. That should get us there quite quickly. You can never do those corners nicely, but and seeing that we are looking for a sunken ship, a boat may prove to be useful on the other side. Mm, my time, let's just quickly take a nap. Before we blow up somebody else's build. Now, 
look at our map the sunken ships are on this region so that is a south east flight again and there's his house I am going to suggest that we keep our next iteration of the server a little bit closer together people have been a bit too far flung which makes both trade and navigating a bit more difficult I think we'll do a bit better with social interaction close up If they go to the coordinates that we specified, they'll end up coming to this ship. Now somewhere in there, there's a light source, which should be giving things away. And a access hole through the roof. And again, our banner. And a chest, and in the chest, we have the diary of the ship's captain. Day 213. Our search for the lost temple of the end continues. Our guide says that we are close. The end temple priests are reputed to know the location of a secret gateway to a new world. The temple has to be near. Oh, simple. The temple has to be near. Well, the benefit of doing this is we can actually breathe here. So let's just breathe. And then we can swim out. Now apparently in 16.2 we can't do that trick anymore. Lanterns will be waterlogged. But it's fine. And look, there is a temple right nearby. And also light coming out of it. I wonder. Is there a way in? No. Not there. There we go. And again our banner. And a place to breathe. And a chest for the book. The water levels are rising. We have to move to our jungle temple before this entire area is underwater. The temple lies northeast from here in the jungle. The world portal was installed there yesterday. Our priests have assured us that it is well protected and hidden. The level sh Ooh, <laughs> it's a bad error there. It should be the lever, but fair enough. Should not fall into the wrong hands. Do not try and write books in a hurry whilst you're standing somewhere where you can't breathe. I only installed these later. It leads to even more mistakes. And now I've got to check it myself because I can't remember what the direction was. To the northeast. Okay. So let's get out of here. We need to go to the northeast. Next to a lamp. And if you look carefully in the distance, you'll see another one on the shore. Now the jungle temple may be difficult to find. Let's just go back to the shore. Hmm, uh. zombies. Hmm. Uh. But this should be enough of a clue for them be able to go a bit inland and have a look around. Ah, there's another one. And there you can see the temple in the background. And another one. So definitely, I think they can find it. It's not going to take them too long. And the entrance is also marked. And here we go. Now these are loaded. They will shoot arrows. 
just put a few back. Look there. What is down there? Mm, interesting. Now I wanted to automate this with a kick or command, but unfortunately a command block cannot um, access admin level commands. So I can set the weather, but I can't kick everyone. So I will have to stand by and wait for them, for them to pull this lever and end the world. Now how do you get out of here? There is no official way out of here because the world's supposed to end at this point. But we can use the service passage. It should be there, there we go. To quickly break our way out. Hey, you shoot at me. we go well that is our end of the world quest the most difficult parts are probably finding the jungle temple and finding the secret room in the nether temple but apart from that I don't think it's going to be too hard they should be able to do it quite easily well, thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you find uh, it interesting. Goodbye.